Hey everybody, I'm Bobby Camacho. Welcome to Living in Las Vegas. We're going to talk about recasting your loan and what that means. And the perfect person to go over that with us today is Shelly Panzarella. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Bobby. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks. This is a great topic, um, especially when a lot of people ask me about refi. There's another option for them as well, correct? Yes, this this term recast is a great option for you if you do have a large sum to put down towards your home or your new mortgage. What it does is ultimately you can apply a principal, a large principal reduction to your mortgage so you'd lower your loan amount. It keeps the terms of the loan the same. So the interest rate and the term, like if it's a 30-year fixed uh, rate mortgage, it would keep all of that the same, but you'd have a lower loan amount and then you'd be able to actually amortize that new loan amount based off of the original term. So this would ultimately give you a lower payment based on that recast option. And where we see this to be a benefit is a refinance versus that recast option. You know, as you go through refinancing, there definitely are some good strategies with refinancing. But if you just want to put down a large principal reduction on your property, let's say you've you've got a bonus, holiday bonus, or maybe you even held on to your current home and now you've sold that home and you've got some net proceeds, you could apply all of that towards this your new loan, do that principal reduction and reset your mortgage payment through that recasting option. And it's cheaper. So refinancing typically about one to 2% of your loan amount. And the recast options are about three to $500 to do that. There are specific um, parameters around that. Like you've had to have your mortgage payment on time. Certain servicers want you to have made like six months of your mortgage payments before you can even look to do it. But it is a great option to reset your mortgage. Yeah, it does sound like a good option. Is there like a minimum, like uh, 40000 or 30000 to start this process to put to put towards your principal? So each in servicer is different, but it is something that you want to keep in mind that you can you cannot do it all the time. It's like a one-time deal, so to speak. And so um, you want to, if you're going to accumulate funds, I would say it should be at least over $10,000. But contact your servicer to ask them what that minimum amount is going to be because it could change. It will change depending upon the servicer. Okay, great. And and right now it's a good time to do that as well because it will keep your interest rate right from last year. Yes. Yeah. So we have a lot of people who had the lower interest rates in the threes and fours. And if they're coming into uh, funds today that they want to do that, absolutely. It'll keep that same interest rate. If you were to refinance, you'd have to refinance into today's market rates, which are in the sixes. So definitely a great opportunity if you'd have the rates from before. You guys uh, take advantage of that. Call your servicer, see if they uh, do this program for you. Uh, it will lower your payment for you guys for 2023. So if you have any other questions, you can reach out to either one of us. You can call us, text us, email us, however you want to get a hold of us. We're here to help you in any way possible. And with that said, you guys make it a great day. Bye. Bye.